In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to search in Excel using Visual Basic. First of all, go to the Developer tab and click on the Visual Basic option to open up the VBA editor. Now let's double click on the Sheet 1 module, select Worksheet from the drop down list, and choose Before Double Click for the Event Handler. This will automatically enable the macro when we double click on the sheet. First of all, we will assign the variables required over here. After that, we will specify on which sheet the action is to be performed. For this tutorial, we will specify Sheet 1 over here. With that done, we will insert the do while loop and add the true condition after that to exit the loop. Once done, we will enter the code to prompt an input box so that the user can search for the value. For that, we will use the input box keyword and enter the message within quotes over here, which will be displayed on the message box. After that, we will configure the loop to be stopped if the user clicked on cancel or if a blank value is entered in the field. Now we will set the range where the query is to be searched in, and after that, we will display the cell number, which contains the search item, in the message box. Notice here that by default we have configured match case to false. If you enable this option, it would only pick out those entries whose case of each corresponding letters match with the search query. Now we have to include the message, which would be displayed if no results are found. For that, we will use the prompt keyword and enter the message within quotes. After that, we will enter the message that is to be displayed if the search query is found. This time we will be referencing the value and the row count within the prompt keyword to display the value which was searched for and the row in which it was found. Now let's go back to the Excel workbook and double click anywhere to activate the macro. Great, the message box appeared. Now let's type April over here and hit enter. You can see that it found the search query and displayed the row number in which it was present. Similarly, let's enter a value which is not present in the Excel file. And there you have it. An error message has been displayed here that the record was not found. And that's basically how you can search in Excel using Visual Basic. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.